My cherished child, I want you to feel the depth of my unwavering love. A love that extends beyond the surface of your struggles and reaches into the tangled places of your heart and mind. You need not approach me with everything neatly sorted. Bring me your unruly problems and the loose ends of your concerns, just as you are. I comprehend that many of your challenges are intricately woven with the complexities of others, making it challenging to distinguish what belongs to you and what belongs to them. Yet know this, you are accountable only for your own mistakes and sins, not the shortcomings of others. I am here to assist you in disentangling these intricate issues, guiding you towards the best way forward. Christianity is a transformative journey, a lifelong process. Some knots from your past may appear stubborn to untie, particularly when they involve individuals who continue to inflict pain upon you. It is crucial not to become ensnared in constant introspection or an obsessive quest to fix everything. Instead, continue turning towards me, seeking my face, and placing your trust in my divine timing to untangle the complexities, making your path clear. Be willing to live with unresolved problems, acknowledging that not every knot can be immediately unraveled. However, do not allow these challenges to consume your focus. My presence in your present is not only a portion, but a boundless blessing. At times, long-standing issues can morph into idols, casting shadows over your life. When faced with a seemingly never-ending situation, pay careful attention to your thoughts. Ongoing difficulties can gradually dominate your mind, overshadowing the grand tapestry of life. When you recognize this happening, confess it to me, pour out your feelings, and endeavor to break free from this hurtful preoccupation. Acknowledge your vulnerability in the face of hardship, and humble yourself under my mighty hand. Understand that your journey is not about instant resolutions, but about growth, resilience, and the transformation of your heart. Trust in my enduring love, for I am here to guide you through the complexities, untangle the knots, and lead you towards a life of peace and purpose. In the intricate tapestry of your days, the burden of constant worry can sow seeds of anxiety. I lovingly implore you, in moments of turmoil, to entrust the weight of your concerns unto me. In this sacred act of casting away anxieties, recognize that I, your ever-watchful guardian, genuinely care for you. Understand that this process may require repetition throughout the day, yet do not lose heart. With each casting of your worries upon me, you shift your focus from the troubles that surround you to the reassuring embrace of my boundless love. To deepen these soulful transactions, take a moment to express gratitude for the profound care I hold for you. Consider that not only did I willingly lay down my life for you, but I persist in standing as your eternal advocate interceding on your behalf with enduring love. Your life, a magnificent gift from my hands, unfolds as a precious offering. Open your hands and your heart to welcome each new day with gratitude, recognizing me not only as your savior and confidant, but also as the creator of the universe. All things, both seen and unseen, were brought into existence by my divine hand. As you traverse this day, a gift intricately woven be attentive to the subtle signs of my abiding presence. Rest assured, I am with you, a vigilant guardian, overseeing your every step, whether in moments of bright joy or challenging darkness. On days infused with radiant joy, converse with me about the pleasures that abound and witness your joy expanding exponentially. During the shadows of difficult days, cling to my hand with unwavering trust for I am your steadfast support. Dearest one, recognize that while your physical existence is a marvel, your spiritual life is a treasure of infinite value. Contemplate the gravity of eternal separation that awaits those unfamiliar with me as their savior. In embracing your belonging to me, revel in the assurance that you will dwell in my presence eternally. Picture the future where a glorified body untouched by sickness or weariness, 
shall be your everlasting dwelling. Let gratitude for this indescribable gift flood your being, filling you with overflowing joy. The chronicles of your days rest securely in the palms of my hands, dear one, so trust in me. Allow the journey of life to train you in finding security amid the ebb and flow of change and uncertainty. Revel in the realization that you are not the master of your destiny, but rather surrender to the comfort of my sovereign hand. This acceptance, far from passivity or fatalism, grants you increasing freedom. Utilize your energy and abilities with prayerful intent, seeking me in the ordinary moments. For I am a God of delightful surprises, revealing myself in unexpected places. Rejoice, for each day is a masterpiece that I have carefully crafted. Entrust to me the orchestration of its details, relinquishing the urge to hasten its unfolding. I extend to you an invitation to find joy in the unhurried pace that I set. And in this surrender, you shall be blessed with a peace that transcends all understanding. Let not anxiety be your companion, but allow the gentle cadence of my sovereignty to guide your steps, granting you serenity in the midst of life's unpredictable journey. In this vast world teeming with threats and uncertainty, it's only natural to occasionally feel a sense of unease. Yet, for those who embrace the Christian faith, there exists a sanctuary where true safety prevails. Your ultimate dwelling is in the heavenly realms, and no force can strip away the glorious inheritance I have bestowed upon you, an inheritance that will never wither, decay, or fade. I, the sovereign creator, reign over all things, including the intricate tapestry of your life and the lives of those dear to you. Nothing transpires without my allowance. As you fix your gaze on me and immerse yourself in my word, you find liberation from distressing, irrational thoughts born out of tumultuous experiences. It may require persistent effort to confront recurring thoughts, but rest assured, your diligence yields a bountiful harvest of increased freedom and a deeper communion with my abiding presence. I have intimately searched your heart, knowing every facet of your being. Even before a word crosses your lips, I am intimately acquainted with your thoughts. This transparency, far from instilling fear, should embolden you with faith. You are a beloved member of my divine family, and our intimate connection serves as a potent antidote to the pangs of loneliness. In moments of solitude or fear, articulate your prayers to me. While I hear the unspoken whispers of your heart, verbalizing your needs, aids in clarifying your thoughts. Given my perfect understanding of you, there's no need for elaborate explanations. You can freely seek my assistance in your current circumstances. Take a tranquil pause in my presence, inhale the joy I offer, and rest assured that I will establish a secure path beneath your feet, preventing any stumbling. Cease worrying about what lies ahead, for I alone hold the blueprint of your true future, comprehending your every capability. I possess the power to reshape your current journey, whether through gradual shifts or dramatic transformations, widening the very path you tread. Contemplate the intricacies of my involvement in your life. Delight in the fact that I take pleasure in caring for you, orchestrating circumstances to spare you from unnecessary hardships. As a shield for all who find refuge in me, I invite you to trust, communicate, and walk with me in joyful dependence. While I may not eliminate all adversity from your journey, I pledge to widen your path, showering you with blessings and guarding you from harm. Choose joy, dear one, for it is a decision within your grasp. Although circumstances may lie beyond your control, the power to choose joy resides within you. Crafted just a little lower than the heavenly beings, endowed with a remarkable mind, you hold a privileged position in my kingdom. Your thoughts, influential architects of your emotions and actions, arise from this elevated status. Strive, therefore, to make thoughtful choices that align with the goodness and grace 
I have woven into your very essence. In the complex tapestry of existence, the world has been entrenched in a ceaseless struggle since the introduction of sin. The echoes of the fall in the Garden of Eden resonate through time, rendering the earth a perilous battleground where the forces of good and evil clash incessantly. In navigating this treacherous terrain, it is imperative to maintain vigilance and exercise self-control. Keep in mind that your ultimate adversary, the devil, has already been vanquished. I, the triumphant overcomer of the world, declare that you stand on the victorious side, my side. Within me, you find peace, and within me, you dwell in perpetual safety. As the shadows lengthen and the world grows dimmer, hold fast to the realization that you are the beacon of light in this darkness. Reserve not your energy for futile lamentations over matters beyond your control. Indeed, present your concerns in prayer, but do not permit them to dominate your thoughts. Redirect your efforts toward illuminating the space where I have strategically placed you. Employ your time, talents, and resources to repel the encroaching darkness and radiate my light into the world. I am the true light that pierces the darkest conditions, and your light originates from me, reflecting through you. I have beckoned you to mirror my glory, a call best answered by becoming the person I intricately designed you to be. Devote significant time to seeking my face, beloved, immersing yourself in my presence and my word to foster the growth of grace and discern my divine will. In these moments, your communion with me nourishes your soul, imparting solace and encouragement. I fortify you, empowering you to be a wellspring of strength for those around you. Consider your prayers not as feeble cries in the dark, but as offerings ascending to my kingdom. Bethed in glorious light, summon me and I shall respond, unveiling great and mighty revelations. Many remain oblivious to life's most profound truths, yet I delight in those with a teachable spirit. When you approach me with eagerness to learn the wondrous mysteries that elude your understanding, my heart rejoices. Your pursuit of knowledge from me deepens your comprehension of the hope to which I have summoned you and the vast riches inherent in the glorious inheritance you share. Anticipate a future dwelling in the holy city where the eternal light emanates from the glory of God, bathing every corner in everlasting brilliance. Dear child, I see your struggles and your pain. I understand how the weight of your problems has become a heavy burden, casting a shadow over your days and filling your heart with uncertainty. But know this, you are not alone. I am here by your side, holding you with love and care. I understand the tears you shed in the solitude of the night, a reflection of your anguish and exhaustion. But let me assure you, my beloved child, these hardships will pass. The darkness that surrounds you will dissipate with the arrival of a new dawn. My promise to stand by your side remains unwavering, even when you walk through the valley of shadow and death. I will never leave you. I will always be with you, guiding and protecting you with my boundless and unconditional love. Therefore, do not fear, my child, for in every storm, in every trial, I am here, steadfast and unmovable amidst the turbulence. Your trust in me will not be in vain. My commitment to you is real and eternal. I will never abandon you. I will stand by your side in every step you take, in every battle and test, and in every tear that falls from your face. I will always be there holding you with my powerful hands. So, dear child, do not let anxiety consume you. Look forward with hope, for the strength you need to overcome every obstacle and challenge comes from me. I know the journey can be arduous and exhausting, and the paths you tread may be difficult to navigate. But remember, 
I am your Lord and Savior, the guardian of your soul, your Father who always watches over your safety and well-being. Do not give up, my child. Persist in your efforts with courage and determination. Immerse yourself in my teachings and seek guidance from my sacred word. Do not underestimate the power of prayer, for in your communion with me, you will find the strength to overcome any attack the enemy may launch against you. Remember that within you lies bravery and courage to face the dangers and challenges of this life. That's why I encourage you to keep your head high and remain steadfast in your faith. Do not be intimidated by the enemy's snares. Trust in me, for I never disappoint those who remain rooted in my love. Remember that the faith you place in me has the power to move mountains, to make the impossible possible. Through faith, my child, you will reap the rewards of your perseverance, blessings, and abundance. So do not doubt my power, my beloved child. Trust in me and hold on to my promises. Just as the wind caresses the fields, I will come upon you as a gentle breeze that soothes your spirit with love and hope. Keep your eyes on me and walk with confidence. For the dawn of a new day always follows the darkest night. Keep moving forward, dear child. Do not give in to your problems. Do not yield your will to adversity. Remember that I am with you, and with each step you take, you carry the promise of my eternal love. Remember that within you lies bravery and courage to face the dangers and challenges of this life. That's why I encourage you to keep your head high and remain steadfast in your faith. Do not be intimidated by the enemy's snares. Trust in me for I never disappoint those who remain rooted in my love. Remember that the faith you place in me has the power to move mountains, to make the impossible possible. Through faith, my child, you will reap the rewards of your perseverance, blessings, and abundance. Beloved child, beloved son, today I give you the opportunity to start anew, I offer you a fresh life, and from now on everything will change. Do not hang your head or feel diminished, for I forgive all your flaws and every sin you may have committed. Fill your heart with unwavering faith, and you will see how everything around you is transformed. I am with you, giving you the strength you need to overcome every trial, giving you a sensitive spirit to see the beauty and the blessings I am bestowing upon you. Draw near to me, and do not be distracted by what the world may offer. If everything around you crumbles, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Fill yourself with my peace, and allow me to give rest to your weary heart. I understand everything you are going through, and believe me when I say I am helping you through these difficult situations. Even the small problems you face, nothing escapes my hands. Just as I give you my love, I want you to have compassion for your brothers and sisters around you. Extend a helping hand to your neighbor. I know it can be challenging, but it is not impossible. Be patient with those who seek to offend you. Forgive them. I understand the feeling of betrayal in your heart but forgiveness will bring you calm and solace. In these moments, I am giving you renewed strength to start anew, the wisdom to avoid the mistakes of yesterday. Everything has been forgiven. You are free from sin. Live today with joy and rejoice in your heart, for everything is in my hands. I have cleared your path of obstacles, and I will make everything better and simpler than you imagine. In your rest, give thanks for everything you have experienced. Being grateful is the key to opening the doors to the blessings I have for you. The attitude of a grateful heart is powerful. Do not forget my words. Beloved, 
I am with you today, tomorrow, and always. I understand the test you are going through. These are times of change, and things may not be as you expected. But do not be distressed. Your struggles are different from those of your siblings. When you feel weak, hold on to my hand. Do not let go. When you are consumed by worry, reach out to the heavens and speak to me. Pray, and you will feel my presence. I have never left your side. My love for you and your loved ones is infinite. Cast aside those negative and destructive thoughts that tell you that you cannot or will not succeed. Your story is not defined by the difficulties you face, but by how you overcome them, with my grace and power. Know that if you trust in me, your victory is assured, for I am here to help you flourish in all areas of your life. Simply trust in me, and you will find the peace you seek, the strength you need, and the light that will guide you towards a future filled with hope and prosperity. My child, engrave these words in your heart. Let them be your guide in this time of challenge and difficulty. Do not be discouraged if the days seem endless and the nights long. For I want you to remember that all these situations will pass. The light of dawn will rise on the horizon, dispelling the darkness that shrouds your thoughts and emotions. Trust, my child. Trust that this period of testing is just the prelude to a series of opportunities and blessings that are yet to come. This season of trials and challenges will only make you grow stronger and more resilient. I love you, my child. Do not doubt my love for you. Just put in a little more effort and be brave. Do not let the fear of crossing the river of trials paralyze you. You have a destiny of blessings and abundance prepared for you. Remember you are stronger than you think, and my power is the shield that will protect you from the enemy's arrows and the adversities you face. Rise now, my child, and face the obstacles with courage. Move forward with determination, and never forget that my power and grace will sustain you even in the darkest moments. Keep your faith burning in your heart and never doubt that I keep my promises. For I am your father, the creator of the universe, who will lead you to a destiny of abundance and happiness. Following me has been the best decision you've made, and now you know me. My Holy Spirit rejoices in your prayers. Your soul is strengthened, and all ailments are healed when you call upon me. My angels protect your home. I guard your comings and goings. I bless the work of your hands. Today I want to hear from you, in your own words, who I am to you. To the blind I am the light that brightens their lives. I am the one who renews and guides each of their steps. To the thirsty, I am the spring of living water that flows from the heavens. I am the one who quenches their thirst and gives water to their thirsty hearts. To the hungry, I am the daily bread. I am the one who uplifts their spirits to keep them from faltering. To the sick, I am the healer of their ailments. I am the strength that sustains their hope for life. To the imprisoned, I am freedom and the one who breaks their chains. I am the one who forgives their sins and heals their souls. With these encouraging words I offer you, believe and have confidence. Go after those dreams you have set aside, for now I am giving you a fresh start, where the doors to abundance and opportunities are revealed before your eyes. What once blinded you has disappeared, and those obstacles you saw are no longer there. I have cleared your path, making everything better and simpler than you can imagine. Those people who despise and do not understand you, I will remove them from your path. Do not seek them. I am here for you. Do not fear. Cast away your doubts. 
Remember that I am here for you whenever you seek me. I will be waiting for you. My angels march before you, providing protection and care. Keep moving forward and do not look back. With love, your father. There is a truth that transcends time, a truth to which you must hold fast. I do not change. I do not lie. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. I have told you a thousand times that my love for you is eternal because it is. Despite the trials you're facing, I will never stop loving you. Some do not understand that I love them. They have chosen to believe the enemy's lies, and the world has drawn them away from me. Many will stumble upon the obstacles they encounter, but you are different. You are chosen. I have given you gifts and talents that you will use for the benefit of your loved ones. Do not abandon your faith. Do not stop believing in my promises. If you want to see miracles, you must keep moving forward. If you want the walls around you to crumble, you must continue. Keep praying. Remain steadfast in your faith. I am giving you unbreakable strength. Even when you falter, I will be there to lift you up. My grace and mercy are eternal towards you. Do not limit my power, my love, or my forgiveness. I know you love me and believe in me. I know you will not retreat when you stumble. Nothing will halt your journey. Tell me, dear one, who am I to you? To the lonely, I am the one who listens attentively and patiently to their cries. I am the one who always has words of comfort and solace for their troubled hearts. To the weary, I am the one who lightens the burden on their shoulders. I am the one who gives them the strength to persevere in their journey. To the sinner, I am the Savior and the one who forgives all their wrongdoings. I am the one who restores their being and offers them a fresh start. Who am I to you, beloved? The time you dedicate to me each day is your response. Do I hold the first place in your life? You are a good person, and I see how you treat your family and those around you. How you treat your neighbor is how you treat me. Caring for them is the greatest test of love you can give me. Express your love for me with your words. Let them return to you as blessings and healing. You will soon emerge from this situation. I am strengthening your being, removing your anguish and fear, healing your emotions and filling you with calm, peace and supernatural strength. There will be no more fear or confusion in your life. As we journey through this waiting season together, rest assured that I am actively at work, undertaking the profound task of renewing your mind. My divine presence permeates the recesses of your thoughts, dispelling shadows and unveiling deceptive patterns that may linger. While there might be numerous crevices where old thought patterns attempt to conceal themselves, my spirit possesses the prowess to seek them out and eradicate their influence. Yet, your collaboration in this transformative process is indispensable, for ingrained habits of thought are resilient. They resist fading away easily. When the illuminating light of my spirit reveals hurtful thoughts, capture them, inscribe them, and bring them to me. Together, we shall dissect and examine these thoughts, identifying distortions and replacing them with the eternal truths found in the scriptures. In moments when joy seems elusive, take pause and remember, I am by your side. My watchful gaze remains fixed upon you, enveloping you in perfect and unwavering love. And I have gifted you with the indwelling presence of my spirit. This holy helper within you possesses boundless power to align your thinking with the profound truths found in the sacred scriptures. The continual assurance of my presence is a promise embedded in the pages of the Bible, beckoning you to seek glimpses of me amid the tapestry of your circumstances. In the initial gaze, you may discern only challenges and problems, 
but persist until you perceive the radiant light of my presence illuminating your difficulties, casting sparks of joy back into your soul. Understand that my discipline is an expression of love, a necessary instruction aimed at guiding you toward a loftier goal than immediate satisfaction. Though discipline may bring discomfort and even pain in recognizing it as an act of love, you can navigate these testing times with a heart full of joy akin to the early disciples. When faced with discipline, you possess a crucial choice. Cling to me in trusting dependence or venture down your own path. Acknowledge my discipline as a gesture of love and boldly enter my presence. Entreat me to unveil the lessons meant for your understanding and the transformations you need to embrace. Express your longing for reassurance of my love and take a moment to immerse yourself in the radiant light of my loving presence. As you gaze upon my face, the luminous knowledge of my glory shall shine upon you. Amen. And may the depth of these words resonate within the chambers of your soul.